and welcome racing enthusiasts to our last show of season five. But before I go on, I'd like to send a warm welcome to all our Brisbane, Melbourne, Geelong and Adelaide viewers. And I hope you've enjoyed the show over the last 10 weeks. Now we've got plenty coming up on the show. We've got the final of the Need to Speed. See who is the fastest on the track. As well, we've got a car shootout. Now this is a very interesting piece of uh, article here where we line up a Ferrari, Lamborghini, a Mercedes and an Audi. See who is the fastest over the quarter mile. As well, as well we've got the Gangnam style, a bunch of Irish jockeys carrying on like larrikins. And we also have Mr. Ed. So we've got plenty coming up over the last half an hour and I hope you uh, followed our selections last week where I tipped you Zanista, the first four in the Caloundra Cup and our co-host Larry Cassidy tipped his best Mount Eximius winning in the last there. And also joining me on the panel is Larry Cassidy, a three-time Sydney Premiership winning jockey, Brisbane Premiership jockey and welcome Larry. Thanks Jess. It was great to certainly win the uh, last race last race Saturday, although there was a bit of a hiccup. They actually had it down as a scratching just before the race. You know it looked like he was a scratching. Uh, what happened there? I have no idea. I didn't know anything about it until I read the paper the next day. So it was all quite bizarre, but um, apparently upset quite a few people, and so it should. And also joining us is a uh, Port Adelaide fanatical fan and a lunatic, Ben Perkins. Welcome, Ben. Oh, hey, 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 and I'm breathing, and I'm breathing better than you are after Port Adelaide took Collingwood to the cleaners in, I thought, one of the most spectacular performances I've seen in a long time, a blueprint for any football side in the world. Port Adelaide was absolutely inspired in magnificence. You know, they definitely outplayed Collingwood, outplayed, outcoached and won every quarter and deservedly so. Now we're going to get into it, but before we get into it, we'd like to uh, congratulate Lisa Byrne from Fortitude Valley for winning the tickets to the Mackay Beach Horse Racing Festival. Uh, congratulations to Lisa. Now, as well, if you stay with us on the website over the next month, we'll be also giving away two more tickets to the festival. So uh, keep an eye on the website at blinkersoff.com.au. Righto, now we're going to look at uh, over the last two and a half years and, and the 40 shows we've gone to where we've had a, a jockey challenges and a, a number of jockey challenges. And one of the most, uh, what would we say, Larry, uh, entertaining was the, the sprint. Yeah, I think very entertaining at, um, at looking uh, Jim Byrne in his, uh, in his lycra suit <laughs> and a few of the jockeys, very ordinary action, including my own. So we're going to have a look at the last season's Jockey Challenge with the sprint down the Eagle Farm straight. Starters are at the line, they're ready, they take a mark, set, look there, and they're off and custody away, well McMahon, look at Toza going for the run, Holmes, Dusty, burnt hard up, look at Butler, Butler up the rails like a bullet out of a shotgun, Toza, you got nothing, Butler! Too easy from Toza, McMahon, Cassidy, Holmes and tailed off is Dusty and Burns. Oh, that was a great day out there. Uh, Jimmy Byrne, he looked a bit lost there in the Lycra suit. Yeah, he looked to be uh, hanging a bit low there too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into our first leg of the quaddy, race five over the 1,500. Ben, what, did you, what have you come up with here? Well, I've got a good price one here. Should be about seven to one, I would think. Uh, number eight here, Cash and Stoltz. It's on the up, third run in. I'm pretty much going on five runs ago, you know, last preparation, when it ran a very close second to, uh, you know, Boys on Tour, when Boys yeah. on Tour was flying. On fire. Yeah. Um, so I just thought <clears throat> that it's on the up, and it'll appreciate the slow track. Number ten, Tax Evader. Look, it, it had the you know the Peron form before um, last yeah. Saturday's race <clears throat> at Caloundra. Got back, ran home. Larry, do you reckon that uh, that track condition last week could? You know, dull a horse for yeah, this week. It certainly could take um, take its toll. Uh, there's a few horses backing up from last week, so I'd just be very careful because we're still going to have a genuine slow track at least. Oh yeah, the, the tracks. Wow, we number five loaded. I reckon a fair bit of thoughts gone to this horse coming up here from from Sydney for this race. One at Canterbury last start on a slow track. Yeah. And number nine, play it straight. If it had mm. drawn better, I'd be a bit bit more keen. But um, its first up run after six weeks ran second to venture on. That's yeah. Uh, That's good form line. Well, well, six weeks before you know between runs, so it's probably fitter for sure. So I thought uh, eight, ten, five, and nine, one of those would win. Larry, are you riding in the race? No, I don't have a ride, Jess. But if I did have a ride, I'd like to be on Tax Evader after his uh, run last week in the Glass House. Yeah, no, I, I, I think he's the danger to my selection. I picked one out here, big, big odds, number fourteen, Tamanu Park. 
Um, from the Gerald Ryan stable, it's come up here. It's going from benchmark 75 to a benchmark 80. It's down one and a half kilos. It's uh, low on the weight. It's got a strong nine. It's got Tim Bell in the sale and Gerald Ryan. He always uh, seems to pluck one uh, during the winter carnival. And I think this is well worth following. So I've got 14 Tomato Park at huge odds each way. From number 10, Tax Evader, the main danger. Number nine, Play It Straight, number one, Hour of Peril. So like 14, 10, nine and one. Now we're going to crack on with things and get into the need for speed. It is the final. This is what it's come down to over the last 10 weeks. And this is, this is what the competitors have been playing for. The Blinkers Off Trophy. It's got some famous names on it. And Larry, your name's not on it yet. Not yet. I've been bridesmaid a couple of times. So uh, uh, we'll see how we go in the final. I'll tell you what's annoying me is I never get a chance to compete in it. But anyway, we're going to go to part one of the final of the need to speed in the Jockey Challenge at Kingston Park Raceway. We now need your attention while we run you through some car track safety instructions. We control this track using a black flag and a remote control. What this means is that the scene making contact with each other. Larry, you're sitting in a fourth spot there, uh, cosy fourth. Have you got something to offer uh, later on in the race? Yeah, I think I have. I'm just um, cruising along. I've got a couple of slowies in front of me. I've just got to pick them off one by one. Okay, right now we're going to uh, head to a commercial. But after the commercial, we're going to preview Quaddy, uh, the second and third leg of the Quaddy. As well, we've got the Max Attack with the car shootout, the Lamborghini, Ferrari, Mercedes, Audi, see who is the fastest over the quarter mile straight after the break. 